All right, five fans. We're sitting here with Erickson Lubin, super welterweight, Winter Park, Florida. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. I want to take this time to thank you from on behalf of BoxingScene.com and Ringside Fighting News for this interview. We wish you the best for your January 31st bout. Now, in 2015, you started around February. You came out good. You were able to fight five times. In 2016, do you see yourself with the same rhythm? Yeah, I do. I plan on fighting about five to six times, maybe more. You never know. Okay. In 20 years, you were able to have a record of 13-0 with 10 KOs. Um, do you see yourself uh, fighting opponents with the same classification and ranking in the future? Yes, I do. You know, I want to fight whoever... Um Whoever has the title. I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just calling everybody out with the title. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Your record indicates that you have power in your hands. Do you believe that that's the best weapon that you possess? Um, yeah. But I also have different weapons. You know, I'm real fast. I can box. Um, I know how to you know, overwhelm my opponents with pressure. I could um, think real good in the ring. You know, my corner is also a big part of my, um, my performance in the ring. The 154 division is strong. What your virtues, uh, what, what do you think it's your ability or your power that's going to uh, succeed in that? Um, I think my mind. My mind's going to be the, um, the one that succeeds in there. Because, you know, everybody, everybody out there might have speed, might have power, probably could box, probably could bang, but, you know, it's all about, you know, when to do it, like when to box, when to bang. It's all about your mindset in there mindset. and how you um, put them together. Right, right. Um, okay. Do you know anything about uh, Macias, which is your, your next opponent on January 31st? I don't really know much about him. I know that he's, um, he's Mexican. He's never been knocked out. So I, I'm pretty sure he's going to come, come to fight. Right. Come the 31st. Okay, do, uh, during your training, uh, between fights, uh, how many weeks do you take the time off to train, approximately? Um, we take about, we, we never stop training. You know, after the fight, we come back in here that Monday, or we take like a few days off, then we're back in it. So it's continuous training? Continuous training. This is all year round. Okay. Now, for your next fight, are you planning on taking it 10 rounds, or are you planning on terminating the fight? Quickly. I mean, whenever he makes that mistake, you know, <laughs> the fight could end. So basically, he makes a mistake. It's an early night. It's an early night. He right. makes that mistake. Okay. How do you see yourself two to three years from now? In what weight class do you see yourself? And uh, is there any opponent that you want to fight? Anybody with the title, man. Anybody with the title. Um, you know, I'm still growing, so I might hit 160. But right now, I feel real comfortable at super welterweight. And um, I'm just chasing them titles. Okay. What can you tell us about your team at Pro Box Management and Premier Boxing Championship? Uh, they, they've been doing me good. They've been giving me a lot of exposure on NBC, Bounce TV, and now I'm the main event. I can't complain. Okay. okay. So they're doing very well. Great, great. And I appreciate them. Great, great. Now, is there anything you want to add to your fans, you want to say to your public? Well, I'd like to thank um, Ringside Fighting News and Boxing Scene. Also, Pro Box Management, um, my coach Jason Galarza, my team, uh, Coach Nelson, Henry Revolta, Al Heyman, everybody. Um, my brother DG for, you know, being here by my side at all times. My boy Josh, you know, he's in camp with us now. You know, everybody that's part of my team. Right, great. On behalf of our team, we thank you for the time, and we wish you the best on your next fight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.